Warning, there were no cigarettes used during the production of the show. All characters and events in the show, even those based on real people, are entirely fictional. All celebrity voices are impersonated poorly. The following contains violence and coarse language. Rated R for real. Your discretion is advised. Hello. My name is Anit Siva, and this is The Anit Show. Today, we're going to talk about cancer. I need the science guy. Yeah. I need the science guy. Cam, 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 now, before we begin, what is cancer? We all know that we are composed of millions of cells in our bodies, which create tissues and organs like muscles, heart, liver. Now, cancer is a disease that starts in our cells. Bad cells multiply themselves in order to create tumors and it also spreads all over in the body and affect other organs. Now, genes inside each cells work, grow, reproduce, and die. Normally, if our genes obey these orders, our cells are healthy. Sometimes, the instructions in the DNA are messed up. Now, cancer cells are formed because of the DNA is damaged. And we all know that every cell has DNA. But in cancer cells, the DNA cannot be repaired, where in other cells, they can be. However, the cell doesn't die like it should. Instead, the cell multiplies into other cells that the body doesn't need. Now, those cells have the same DNA as the first cancer cell and from the body. Now, what causes cancer? Let's take a look. I don't want you to listen. I want you to hear. I don't want you to look, I want you to see. Now look at me and listen up. Been smoking way too much. You need to learn something, okay? Hey! Alright, man. Hey! Let go!
tell me what is your problem. Papa Ji. My girl. Please tell me what I can do. First of all, son, you need to stop smoking. But why? It's helping me get through this terrible time. Smoking is very bad. Because of nicotine. This is a benzene drain. And at, and at the bottom of it, there is a nitrogen. This is known as pyridine. This is pyridine 2 and all, which is attached to a pyridine. Py pyridine 2 and all is attached on the second carbon, as shown, and it has nitrogen on the first. Lastly, there is a methyl group attached on the nitrogen. The S stands for rotation, so it is a rotation. Okay, some of the health side effects we need to have. So health. First, it has irregular heartbeats. It can cause fevers. Fevers and runny nose. Also, some long-term side effects are abdominal pain, cold sweat, and these eventually lead to cancer. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. No, no problem. Smoking. No problem. No problem. Now, Babaji, about getting me another girl, you want to hit the dance club tonight? You know, have some garba sharba? Don't worry, beta. We'll find you another honey bunny. One that is better and sweeter than sour cake. And also, leave those cigarettes to me. Thank you, Babaji. Thank you for, thank you for all your kind words of wisdom. No problem, beta. Come on. See? I tell you. Babaji solved all your problems. Ah! Ah. Ah. Four amino biphenol. This is four amino biphenol. The biphenol is composed of two benzene rings connected together. There is one. Then there is the connection, and then the entire biphenol. Now let's continue on by showing the entire structure. Four amino biphenol. There's the biphenyl again, and then the amino. As you can see, the 4-amino is connected to the second benzene ring on the fourth carbon. Now, let's continue on by talking about some of its uses and health aspects. When 4-amino biphenyl was produced commercially, it, used, it was used as a rubber antioxidant and dye intermediate in the past. But now, it's mainly found in cigarettes. The likelihood of people being exposed to it in a workplace has greatly reduced as it is no longer produced commercially. One common place it can be found in would be places such as places which allow smoking and is mainly found in tobacco smoke. Research has shown that smokers have higher levels of the breakdown products of the compound in their blood than non-smokers. 4-amino biphenol can have a number of different side effects. Some acute side effects caused by inhalation of the product would be headaches, lethargy, cyanosis, urinary burning, and hemorrhage. Fortunately, 
there are no known chronic side effects of 4-amino biphenol in humans or animals. There is a huge cancer risk involved in 4-amino biphenol. It is a well-known human bladder carcinogen. Uh, yeah, based on studies of occupationally exposed workers who reported a high incidence of bladder cancer. <coughs> Although the EPA has not classified 4-amino biphenol for potential carcinogenity, the IARC has classified it as a group 1 carcinogen. 4-amino biphenol is a yellowish-brown crystalline solid and is slightly soluble in cold water and very soluble in hot water. Okay guys, so that's it. I'm done. Yeah, thank you. Can you please pay me this time? Yeah? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm taking my stuff with me now. Yeah. Chemotherapy drugs are used to treat several types of diseases, particularly cancers of various sorts. They work by distributing the cell's ability, its genetic material, or DNA in order to divide. In, order, in other words, stop cancer cells from dividing and expanding throughout the body. Now, let's take a look at what cures cancer. Look what I've created! After all my hard work, dedication, and being on task. My years of research have finally paid off. Now I won't be considered a total failure in the community. Guys, gather up! I have something important to show you! What, what could you possibly have done that's so important? <laughs> Noob. It is important. <laughs> It can be used as a suppressant for prostate cancer that stills the cell growth by stopping the cancer cell when it's in mitosis. <laughs> now keep in mind there are also risks. Uh, ah, here we go. Uh, the very common ones are nausea, diarrhea, breast enlargement, and tenderness, difficult breathing, oedema, which is excessive watery fluid in the collecting of cavities and tissues of the body. The common ones are vomiting, leg cramps, itchiness, decreased testosterone, guys beware, impaired liver functions, anorexia, you easy to be bruised, insomnia, chronic heart failure, weakness, blood clots, stroke, heart attacks. Now the rare ones are muscle weakness, depression, headache, confusion, anemia, which is the deficiency of the red blood cells of hemoglobin in the blood, resulting in pallor or weakness. Leukopenia, it's the, basically the reduction of the white cells in the blood. First, we're going to talk about 1, 2, 4, tri and 3 -o. Now, the 3 in the tri and 3 is basically three hexagonal carbon rings that's connected to each other. And the 1, 2, 4 is basically the hydrogen so that's connected to the diagram over here and see how there's a 10 in bracket beside the 1. 17 hydroxyestra. Now hydroxyestra is the 5 carbon pentagonal structure on the far right corner of the diagram. 17 hydroxy is placed at the 17th part of the diagram which is the top part of the pentagonal structure in the far right corner. And hydroxy is obviously the OH bond on the pentagonal structure. Carbamate is an organic compound and in this case in the diagram it is also a carbamate ester for the functional group and the reason is that is because there's a double bonded O and a single bonded O connected to a carbon and the nitrogen is connected with bis and we'll talk about that. Now we're going to talk about bis in bracket 2 chloroethyl now the two chloroethyl atoms are basically connected to the nitrogen atom in order to make the nitrogen stable. And we know that it's in chloroethyl because there's two atoms that's carbon which makes it ethyl and the chlorine atom that makes it a chloroethyl. And since there's two of them, there's two in the diagram. 
I'm sexy and I know it Hey, did you hear about that compound named Arubicin? No, I've never heard of it. Well, it's actually used to treat different types of leukemia and cancer. Now let's take a look at it. Arubicin is an anti-tumor antibiotic that is used to treat cancer and also in chemotherapy. It interferes with enzymes involved in DNA replication and works in all phases of the cell cycle. Idarubicin works by blocking an enzyme called topoisomerase 2. If this enzyme is blocked, then the cell's DNA gets tangled up and the cell can't split into two new cancer cells. The cell then dies. Also, this medication was approved by the FDA in 1990. The IUPAC name is 1S3S3-acetyl-3512-trihydroxy-611-dioxo-1234611 hexahydrotetracin one yil 3 amino 236 trioxo alpha l lexo hexopyranoside It has a similar structure to dinorubicin, but with the absence of a methyl oxy group, it increases its fat solubility and cellular uptake. Similar to other anthracylines, it also induces high stone infection from chromatin. It also has an inhibitory effect on nucleic acid synthesis, and also has a high helicity, which results in an increased rate of cellular uptake compared with deoxorubicin and denorubicin. Its molecular formula is C26H27NO9 with an average mass of 497.493896 DA. It has a percent composition of 62.77% carbon, 5.47% hydrogen, 2.82% nitrogen, and 28.94% oxygen. Ibrubicin is soluble in water and stable, and belongs in the chemical class DNA metabolism. It is stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius, and is in the class of medications called anthracyclines. Anthracyclines are used to treat acute methylogenesis, leukemia, and different types of cancer. It comes in the form of a solution, in other words, liquid, and is injected intravenously, which means injected into the vein. Common side effects are decreased white blood cells count with increased risk of an infection, decreased platelet count with increased risk of bleeding, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, decreased appetite, sores in mouth or on lip, hair loss or thinning, and lastly but not least, skin rash. Possible side effects that are less common include darkening of nail beds, diarrhea, fever, and abnormal blood tests, which suggest that the drug is affecting the liver. Your doctor will discuss the importance of this finding, if any. Possible side effects that are rare include inflammation of the liver, heart damage with shortness of breath and swollen feet and ankles, which can happen months or years after treatment, irregular heartbeat, tumor elysis syndrome, kidney damage, pain, tingling, blister, or peeling skin on palms and soles of feet. So many risks. However, it saves lives and has as many risks as some over-the-counter drugs. In terms of structure, the alpha carbon in organic molecules refers to the first carbon atom that attaches to the functional group, which is a ketone. L for laboratory, left rotating structures, and lexo is the internal configuration of how the structure is composed. Now, pentanose is the collective term for carbohydrates that have the chemical structure that includes a six membered ring consisting of five carbon atoms and one oxygen atom. This whole a complete structure includes the functional groups alkane, amine, ketone, and alcohol. The three amino refers to the amino group, which is nitrogen and the two hydrogens.
connected on position 3. Eel was used as a substituent, which is an atom or group of atoms substituted in a place of a hydrogen atom on the parent chain of the hydrocarbon, which is on position 1. And also, tetracene is the is the four-ringed member of a series of acenes, which are a class of organic compounds and polycycle or aromatic hydrocarbons made up of linearly fused ben benzene rings. Hexahydro, if the name of the parent hydrolate implies the presence of a maximum number of non-cumulative double bonds or states of hydrogenation, can usually be indicated by the use of the prefix hydro, together an appropriate numerical prefix sig signifying the addition of hydrogen, bond, hydrogen atoms. This operation is regarded as a reduction of double bonds. Third, dioxo refers to the double bonded uh, oxygens with carbon in which is referred to as ketones. Fourth, trihydrooxy refers to the OH groups attached to the tetracene. Thus, there is an alcohol group in, in present of this structure. Fifth, there is an acetyl functional group, which, is, which, which has a, a chemical formula of COCH3. It contains a methyl group single bonded to a carbonyl. The 1S and 3S relates to the isomers. S stands for left and refers to the position of the molecule of the OH and O. From the structure, we could tell that the boiling point will be high since it consists of a long chain of carbon and also it contains functional groups which are known to having high boiling points. Also, uh, since there are some polar bonds within the structure, There are atoms that are slightly positive and slightly negative. It can be seen where the alcohols and the ketones are present. Oh really? It seems very similar to this compound I'm eating it. Oh, what is it? Oh, let's take a look. Imatinib. Imatinib is a type of targeted cancer therapy known as a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Its IUPAC name is 4,4-methyl-piperazine-1-eel-methyl-N4-methyl-3,4-pyridine-3-eel-pyrimidine-2-eel-amino-phenyl-benzamine. Properties It has a molecular formula of C29H31N7O. It has a molar mass of 493.603 grams per mole. Its trade name is Gleevec, and it has a half-life of 18 hours meaning that's how long it takes for the amount of drug in our body to be reduced by one half. Its melting point is 226 degrees Celsius and it is highly soluble in water. Uses Imatinib is used to treat chronic myelogenous leukemia, gastrointestinal stromal tumors, and a number of other malignancies. History Imatinib was invented in the late 1990s by scientists at Siba Gaigi. The company later merged with Sandoz in 1996 to become Novartis. It was developed in a team led by biochemist Nicholas Leiden and included Elizabeth Buchtunger and Jörg Zimmermann. Its use to treat chronic myelogenous leukemia was driven by oncologist Brian Drucker of Oregon Health and Science University. How it works in order to survive, cells need a sequence of protein signals which direct their activities. Some of the proteins on the sequence use a phosphate group as an on switch. This phosphate group is added by an enzyme known as a tyrosine kinase enzyme, which is a tightly regulated family of enzymes. In healthy cells, these enzymes are turned on and off as needed. In chronic myelogenous leukemia cells, one tyrosine kinase enzyme called BCR-ABL is stuck on the on position and keeps adding phosphate groups. 
Imatinib blocks this BCR-AVL enzyme and stops it from adding phosphate groups. As a result, these cells stop growing and even die by a process of programmed cell death called apoptosis. Because the BCR-ABL tyrosine kinase enzyme exists only in cancer cells and not in healthy cells, imatinib works as a form of targeted therapy, meaning that only cancer cells are killed through the drug's actions. In this regard, imatinib was one of the first cancer therapies to show the potential for such targeted action. Risks After a minor overdose, the patient may suffer from nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rash, erythema, edema, swelling, fatigue, muscle spasms, thrombocytopenia, pancytopenia, abdominal pain, headache, and decreased appetite. After a moderate overdose, the patient may suffer from weakness, myalgia, increased creatine phosphokinase, increased bilirubin, and gastrointestinal pain. After a single severe overdose, the patient may suffer from nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, pyrexia, facial swelling, neutrophil count decrease, and an increase in transaminase. Fun fact! The United States Food and Drug Administration approved imatinib as the first-line treatment for leukemia caused by Philadelphia chromosome positive chronic myelogenous leukemia in both adults and children. Which is better, imatinib or idarubicin? You decide. Now let's take a look at the chemical structure of imatinib. The IUPAC name is 4,4-methylpiperazine-1-yl-methyl-N4-methyl-3,4-pyridine-3-yl-pyrimidine-2-yl-aminophenolbenzamine. Let's take a break and sim simplify it. Here is benzamine. It is basically a benzene ring attached to an amide group. The amide group consists of a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, which is a carbonyl, and a single bond to an amine. Moving on, here we have an aminophenolbenzamide. The brackets might make this appear complex, however, for now it is best to ignore them and simply connect an aminophenol to the nitrogen that is part of the benzamine. Now here is the amino, and here is the phenol. Here we have attached a pyrimidine 2 yield. Pyrimidine is like a benzene, however it has two nitrogen atoms at position number 1 and 3. And recall that the suffix yield simply means that the hydrogen atom at the stated position is replaced by a single bond to another group. Hence over here, position number 2 of pyrimidine has a single bond connecting it to the amino that is bonded to the phenol. Now we have 4-methyl-3,4-pyridine-3-yl-pyrimidine-2-yl-aminophenol-benz-amide. The 4-methyl simply means that a methane is attached to the phenol at position number 4. This is because like the phenol, it is located outside of the square and squiggly brackets, but inside the curved brackets. We also have a pyridine, which is similar to a benzene, but contains a nitrogen at position number 1. Since it is a pyridine 3 yield, it means that at position 3, it forms a single bond with the pyrimidine. Finally, we have the full structure 4,4-methyl-piperazine-1-yield-methyl-N4-methyl-3,4-pyridine-3-yield-pyrimidine-2-yield-aminophenol-benzamine. Hyperazine is similar to a hexene, however, it contains two nitrogen atoms at position 1 and 4. And since it is 4 methyl piperazine 1 yield methyl, it means that at position number 1 and 4, it is bonded to a methane. The end simply means that the methyl bonds with the nitrogen atom. Now, it is evident that due to all the polar carbon to nitrogen bonds and the one polar carbon to oxygen bond, the methane has atoms with many partial charges, which allow the molecule to form many dipole dipole bonds and is the reason why imatinib has a high boiling point of 226 degrees Celsius. Now Thank you for watching the Elise show. I remember. Cancer is a serious thing. Now, can you please get me off of this, please?
Action! Zamra, action! Get back, get back. Action! Zamra! What the f are you doing? Action! Say it again. Action! Hey, what's up, dog? Go, bro. Hey! No. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! It was going. No. <laughs> we can see our shadows. Okay, it does not look at okay. it. Just keep his head still. <laughs> that looks so funny. You can move your head, it doesn't matter. Like, no, you said no to edit it. Only for my head. No, whatever. Whatever you're doing before, it doesn't matter. Look at the camera! <laughs> I said look at the camera! I thought you said don't. Stop it, stop it, stop it. What? No, you can just cut that part off. It's harder, it's harder. It's harder, bigger part. <laughs> so, what is the problem? It's a very, very bad problem. Very bad? You want to understand. The growth, the growth, my growth, broke my heart. Okay. Very sad. First of all, you need to stop smoking. You need to stop smoking right now. But why, sir? Why, Babaji? You don't know why? We can continue from here. You can have fevers with it. Fevers? <laughs> right here. See. A star. A black star. Action. Mom. Is that action? <laughs> <laughs>